This is Luis with CIS Inc. So I'm here to show you guys how to install CIS system on the Epson 8600. Um, this also covers the 8610, 8620 and above. Anything that uses 950 cartridges would pretty much use this installation method. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's not going to take long for you to be able to install this. So first thing you're going to do is open the lid. And this should move the print head over to the left so you're able to install the cartridges. And uh, it's, you know, pretty much you're going to take this out of the packaging and then just insert the cartridges in there one by one. Okay. So I got the cartridges in, now we're going to route the tubes. Uh, once again, this is one of the easiest installations we have. Uh, there's really not much in terms of actual modifications to the hardware to make this work. But we're going to grab this small clip here. Alright. We're going to stick it right there. Okay, so you see where it is. Should be right at the center, maybe about half an inch to the left from the middle. Okay, so once you got it in, that in there, just go ahead and attach the tube. Boom. You just basically have to leave enough slack for it to move left and right. See how that's barely just enough for it to move all the way down to the right. Uh, and then it should be good. You also notice that there's air in the lines. As long as the physical cartridges are full of ink, it should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and close the lid. So the reason why you route, want to route the tubes in here is if you close the lid with the hose coming on this direction, you're able to actually close it all the way and don't need to jam anything in there. Alright, so with the lid closed, cartridges installed, all you have to do now is pretty much install the air filters. And you would install the air filters fat side in. that then you just allow this to pretty much charge the ink you run the head cleaning and then it should be good to go if you have any questions give us a call or send us an email thanks